this is one of the most ideal spots in Mauritius to come and take photos. Hi everyone, welcome to Cap Milleroy. This is the little red roof church, the most photographed church in the world. <laughs> it's called Notre Dame Auxiliaries. There we are. So it is actually a functioning church for Mass, a Catholic church. It's unfortunately closed today, but it has a bell, another red roof on top of that, which is pretty awesome, and Bogan Villas, pretty Bogan Villas everywhere. Ricky likes to get photos of Bogan Villas. It's just classically gorgeous. That is why it's the most photographed thing in the world, because you got the red roof church there, right? Coming down, perfect Ricky there, coined a mirror behind, and Bell. Wow. Most people come to Cap Milleru for the church and the views of Coindemir. And it really is worth it. Come here if you're just going to do that. But there is a lot more to Cap Milleru. We're going to show you around. There, there's fish barbecues. There's, there's a harbour and beach and a bench in the shade. This is like the perfect place to sit. Let's see if we go and get a Ricky next to us. And then she will, she will gasp in astonishment at the view. Gasping in astonishment. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the view. This is the view from our bench. That's right. That's Coin de Mere there. Look at this gorgeous, massive old banyan tree. We bumped into it. It's like a fish barbecue. She's got the fish here. Fresh fish. <gasps> it's fresh fish. Look at them all. They're beautiful. Look at the eyes. They're fresh, fresh. You can tell from the eyes. <laughs> and you're just going to cook them all on, on, the, on the fire here. Yeah. Is it hot? Can I open? Yes, you can. Oh, I'm gonna lift it. Oh, it's heavy. And look at the smoke coming out. I don't want to ruin their fire too much, but all you're seeing is smoke. But there you go. They're gonna be cooking. They're gonna have a fish barbecue here. It's so exciting. One o'clock. Here we are. What's your name? Solin. Wow, what a fantastic find. What a fantastic find. Yes. So we'll be back at one o'clock. In the meantime, <laughs> let's go explore the rest of the place. Have a look at this awesome building. One day it's gonna be a pirate museum, and it used to be a Chinese shop. But wow! I'm going to show you the detail because we never get to see one that's been fully refurbished. Have a look up there. You can actually see the, the stone that actually holds the wood lintels over. But it's going to be a pirate museum. But inside right now, it's, it's the, the, the marketing place for the uh, something Ricky will tell you. <laughs> Cap Marina. <laughs> Cap Marina. Yeah, they just told me. There we are, everyone. I finally got my drone. <laughs> and this is the Red Roof Church from drone footage. No, it's a model. I'll show you all about it. <laughs> right. Hi, my name is Aude. I'm from Ivaco Property. So if you are looking to buy an amazing place, a beautiful Cap Marina project, just contact me. I'll put all the details below. You can click below. Awesome. So here you go. This is Harmony. I know one of you guys has bought a place there. I think it's going to be a little bit bigger than this though. But look at this palm tree. This model is just exquisite. I love it. Okay, so this lit area is a canal. So these villas will have like a pontoon over their own private piece of canal. And you can take your canoe or your kayak around the whole complex. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. But how is this wooden roof? Oh, wow. And, and then the, the ones that hold up the, the, what do you call this, veranda? They are so gnarly. I mean, have a look at that. Wow. So the water doesn't run down. <laughs> so the water doesn't run down. The... <laughs> it's normally an outside feature. Just down from the Pirate Museum. <laughs> soon, to be pirate mu soon to be Pirate Museum. Guarantee it. Looks awesome. There seems to be a little shop. And it seems to be the only shop in Cap Miller. Let's go see what's in it. It's a simple enough store, you can come get some juice. They have some cold juices. And the back she's making some roti, so we're going to get a roti. You can also get some samosas here. So, I think we're a little bit late for most of the food. I think it's mostly sold out at the moment. <laughs> little chickens. Why is like they're a bit too far away, but she's walking them right towards me. Captain of the Rare Roti. Let's have a look inside. It's nice and thin. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Is it good? Yeah. Just met a guy who has a guest house and he comes here and gets the rotis as well. He thinks they're the best. So let me <laughs> see. Mm. Fantastically thin rotis. But that's not the treat. The treat is a curry sauce on the inside. It's got so much flavor. It's really yum. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This behind me, I'm going to zoom in on it in a minute. There. 
Wedding dress rentals. I know it sounds weird. Wedding dresses in the shop. It is unfortunately closed, but there are hundreds of wedding dresses up there. <laughs> this is the actual wedding dress studio. And they have red dresses as well. So the church is on the main coastal road and there is a bus stop right in front of it. Oh, look at this, a Dorado. Wow, thank you so much. Well, you got your fresh fish here and it's worth it to come here. The guy who's selling it is Vicky. He comes from about 9.30 in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon. Pop by, pick up your fresh fish. It's actually cheaper than Super U, which is awesome. You probably wouldn't come to Cap Miller for the beach, but there is one. The sea does get quite deep, so probably deeper than the Caledine Island. The beach look... is very quiet. <laughs> now, all around it, all around it, like past Ricky there, are these bungalows. So I'm going to walk down a little bit down this road and, and see where it goes. Maybe there's some secret around the corner. Who knows? Cap Miller Road. It's full of surprises today. Cool old wooden boat. Nice. Oh, wow. These places are awesome. I would love to stay that one in particular with the trees because they've got this view. You're just sitting on your deck, having a sundowner, looking at that. If you walk around the cove from the church, and come around this area, you will be surprisingly rewarded with a beautiful beach. It's not peri bed, but it does get deep there. Now, I'm not sure. I think you would probably have to be a good swimmer, but it does get deep there. So you can actually do some proper swimming or maybe kiteboarding or something, but it's a beautiful piece of beach. It's a little bit windy, but you can hire a boat and come out here and take pictures of the Red Roof Church. That's what those guys are doing in that boat. The real reason that I came out here wasn't to show you that awesome beach behind me. It was actually to come to get to the most northern point in Mauritius. It's actually in Cap Malheur. It is not here. You should have checked the map. It's all the way down there. I'm now pretty much as far as far north as you can get in Mauritius. This point here is as far north as you can get. It is a little bit windy, it is a little bit windy. But straight out there, Coin de Mere. But this is mainland Mauritius, as far north as you can get. And in that direction, Australia. And that way, Madagascar. You can clearly see why this is called the Unfortunate Cape. There are rocks and waves crashing. And you can see the seaweed really gets washed up. The white stuff is the seaweed, but it's starting to make a compost and you <laughs> can smell it. <laughs> just, just on a side note, as you can see where Ricky is walking, it's completely dry, but it looks like the high tide line is quite high up. So I'm not sure if you're going to come here and then have to walk back through water. But if you do, maybe they'll let you walk on their wall. Although this is private property from here onwards. And this is public. Church is there, Coindemere is there, and then right here, this is the toilet. I'm sure Ricky will give you the full public bathroom tour, but that is the best public toilet and the cleanest I think I've ever seen. Okay, well guys, these toilets are actually stunningly clean. Well done, Captain Larry. As usual, you have to bring your own toilet paper, but very clean and there's soap. As we're in Cap Malheur, there's actually preparedness measures in the, in the bathrooms for cyclones and things and thunder and lightning and everything. There is parking. Not much. A little bit and it gets very, very full. You have the cars parked all the way down the road. So everyone, we've just come around the corner and this is Le Caz Sandrine. Le Caz Sandrine. It smells really smoky in here, but, but I think that's because there's a fire on the back, but I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, let's see what she's got. Oh, octopus, can we come around? Yes. She can. said we can come around, everyone. Let's go have a look. Wow, this is the first time I've actually seen people at a place where they sell fish actually cooking fish. Look at this, this is octopus. Fresh octopus. This is fresh octopus that she's cooking down. Oh, yeah. It's what a you... tomato sauce. In a tomato sauce? Yes. Like, like a rugai? Yes. Okay. okay, so octopus and rugai, the most famous Mauritian dish. Yeah. How do you serve this? With noodle. With noodle. Oh, yeah. oh, yummy. Okay, this is a fish bra, but look at what she's cooking inside. <gasps> it's chicken and it's so smoky. Oh man, that looks so, so good, that Sandrine. Looks so that good. looks amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Smoked chicken barbecue. Wow. The fisherman just came literally and have a look at that. It's a fresh octopus. We showed you making octopus regard earlier, but 
Have a look at that. That is the real thing. So we ran into some fans. Well, I don't know if they're fans, but they watch our show. And now they're vlogging us. Vlogging. <laughs> and you're vlogging me, vlogging you. Barge and Jess. Barge and Jess. We got fans vlogging us. <laughs> oh wow, here we go with the chicken, turning it over. And it is so smoky in there. So that fish is also going to be really smoky. Nice. Man, my mouth is watering just, just <laughs> standing in, in, in the smoke. Oh man. Oh wait, he's going to put something on. Basting with butter. Surely that's illegal. <laughs> Only in Mauritius, everyone, are you going to get something as gorgeous as that. Illegally white. Oh wow. Illegally, illegally white. How much is your chicken? The chicken is 300 salad bread. 300 with salad and bread. Yeah. Oh wow, look how beautifully cooked that is getting. And there's another one on, a slightly smaller one. But wow, that is cooking so nicely. Here we go. So what's this? Is this chili or oil? No, oil. So this is oil. So oil, oil going on this lime, one. The got, soja. got some spices in it. Yeah. It's got tons of chickens now. Everyone's getting hungry. Lunchtime is coming. Oh, there we go. Turn it over and baste it up some more. This is the octopus, the one we showed you earlier. Look how beautiful it is with, with the noodles. Some lucky person is getting that. Thank you. Why don't you just put one of the buns on as well to heat that up? Oh, wow. And there's the salad. That's the salad that you get with it. So, fish on. Oh wow, look at that! Oh man, what a treat! Doing the bread. Is it garlic bread? Yeah. It's garlic bread, you can see it's actual garlic bread. Wow, thank you. You can have the table set up here. The best table in Mauritius. At probably the best restaurant. Because, have a look at those views. So they're going to be doing this fish barbecue thing every day. And if you have a group of people or you want to make sure you get it, then phone this number and book. So these two guys just met each other and they're discussing football. <laughs> from Holland. At the beach. <laughs> while eating fish. That's what Mauritius is all about. I like Liverpool. Liverpool! <laughs> oh wow, look at this. This is the octopus one. This is the one I wanted. And I got chili on mine. Awesome. There we are. Oh, this is, this is, the seed was in a dry container. Mm. The most traditional Mauritian dish. Mm -hmm. Octopus rugai on noodle. Is it rugai? Here we go. Oh. But not with octopus, with lamb or chicken or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sauce. Rugai is a sauce. Really soft. So it's soft octopus. Mm, no. You've always got to try the chilies. Mm. It's like the video, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good chili! Oh, wow! wow yeah. <laughs> it's got a bit of heat to it. <laughs> we we have we have live audience at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of a, a unique experience. This is a chili at once, but it's fantastically flavoured. Really, really well flavoured. <laughs> So good. No, no. Mm. Seriously, I come for the sauce. Wife, it is I really take, that good. Uh, buy some mm. yeah. Everyone, really, do yourselves a favor. Come and lick your bowl clean. This place is that good. Really, really that good. If you want the chicken, the fish, or, or my favorite, the octopus, you gotta come here. You gotta come here. <laughs> oh, it's too late. I've finished filming now. Okay, completely clean my bowl. It looks like it was washed. That is how good it is. But you have to come here. Try the fish, try the chicken, but definitely get some of these noodles, this octopus rugat. Octopus rugat, Mauritian staple favorite. Yay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's all the editing. Hi, Bobby. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, I don't It is sort of a perfect spot to have a picnic because you got this wall that's at the exact right height to sit and eat your snacks and look at that view wow so a pretty cool thing about Cap Malaria is they've got this mini dock so if you're getting a cat's mowing or something from here you can actually just walk straight on it it's a pier it's called a pier right not a dock a mini pier. dock 
<laughs> With a dog. Well, fishy fishy. Well, as you can see, there is plenty of place to park your boat. But you can also launch right from here, as Ricky pointed out earlier when she did the thing that I'm supposed to do, like she always does before I get there. But anyway, so you can launch your catamaran from here and walk straight on. Genuinely walk straight onto the boat, no problem whatsoever. It is the easiest way to sail in Mauritius. Okay, getting on the boat for people is really, well, it's quite easy no matter what, where you are. But loading snacks and supplies, <laughs> better have a pier. <laughs> Let's just move out of their way. Ah. So, there you go. Always take the pier option, especially when you have to load the boat yourself. I was sort of wondering about these, with the buckets and everything. But as you come closer, you can see there's clearly a cleaver. They're actually cleaning the fish here. So this is where they clean the fish. And we've got a little bird. A little bird coming to steal fish. Maybe he's going to go catch his own. <laughs> Here we are. That's the little bird. Good luck, buddy. Ricky getting railroaded. <laughs> That's how they bring boats in. Wow, so Cap Malare. Five tables and the trees. Guy cooking the fish. Perfect. There we are. There's some people getting married on the beach. Well, they got married at the church, but now they're on the beach taking photos. And they came by catamaran. That catamaran, which we saw earlier. Because of this passageway through here, between Mauritius and Coindemir, the current is flying by. So what happens is the ships would come in and they're on their way to Grand Bay and they would hit the reef, which is surprisingly hidden out there. And you would hit it and it would just grind you around and that's where all the problems happen. It's known as the unlucky cape, Cap Mullerur, unlucky because the ships always got unlucky here. Wow, I actually completely missed this. Actually, I completely missed this as well. It's a swing. <laughs> but just around back, they actually have a tree that you can climb up. I will attempt it. Hopefully I don't break anything. Well, on me. Ah. Ah. Let's see. Yeah, I think if you were a young person, you could probably scamber up there. If you're an old person, you're probably going this high and no higher. But it's like a tree house. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh wow, this is this is actually pretty cool. It's like got a railing, but it's made from the actual tree. I don't know, I think I might like it. You, you, you set up a picnic here. But awesome, awesome balcony. Tree house. Tree veranda, tree veranda. <laughs> I saw someone jump off there. <laughs> Not advisable. Uh, it's bad enough that I have to come down this way. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I have no idea what this house is, but I think I'll go in and just have a quick look. It's got a nice balcony, and if anyone actually lived here, it would be a great place to live. But it's open, so we're going to go in. Come with me. I'll just walk around and have a look. Oh wow, we discovered what this building is all about. It's where they used to have the fresh fish co-op. So the guys would come and sell their fish here. So that's what this building is. And it's probably been abandoned because they're not selling fish here anymore. But there you go, mystery solved. Cap Millerea, it's not just the Red Roof Church. Come and visit it all, it's really that great. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.